Let's talk about multiplying by four. So one strategy for multiplying by four is to use what we know about the twos fact. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So here we have an array and we see that it's two rows of three and we have six. So there's one row, there's two rows and there's three in each row, so we have six. Now what happens if we double the amount of rows in our array. So we had two rows and now we have four rows. So we doubled the amount of rows. That means we now have four rows of three. So we doubled the amount of rows and we also doubled the amount of dots in our array. Do you see how it doubled when we added the six down here? So we had two, two rows of three, now we have four rows of three. So we doubled the rows and we doubled the total number of objects. So if we had six, we can double that six to make 12. So this is what strategy you can think of for multiplying by four. We can call it doubling the double. Let's look at one more array. Suppose we have two groups of two. So we can write this like this two groups of two, and that makes four. Now, if we wanted to figure out what four groups of two is, we're going to double the amount of groups, aren't we? We had two groups, now we have four groups, and that is going to make eight. And you can see eight is the double of four. So we not only doubled the amount of groups, but we doubled the amount of objects in our array. So let's go through the fours facts together and we'll use this strategy as we go. So we'll start with four times one. Now we know that anything times one is itself, so we know that's four. And four times two. So for this one, we could think, we could think two times four because we know those are the same, aren't they? Two times four and four times two have the same product. So I'm gonna think in my head, okay, two times four or the double of four, that one's eight. Now let's start using the strategy that we just learned, the double the double strategy. Okay, so for four times three, we could start in our heads with two times three, and that's six, and then we'll double the six to make 12. So we doubled the three, and then we doubled again for four times four. Let's start in our heads with two times four. So the double of four, and that makes eight, and now the double of eight is going to be 16. So that's four times four. So we doubled the four to make eight, double the eight to make 16. All right, four times five. We'll double the five to make 10 and double the 10 to make 20. Four times six, we'll double the six to make 12 and double the 12 to make 24. Four times seven, we'll double the seven to make 14 and double the 14 to make 28. Four times eight, we'll double the eight to make 16 and then we'll double the 16 to make 32. Four times nine, we can think about doubling the nine to make 18 and then doubling that 18 to make 36. And the last one, four times 10, we can double the 10 to make 20 and then double the 20 to make 40. So if you ever get stuck on anything times four, remember that you can always take the double and then just double it again. Now let's see, I wonder if that strategy would allow you to solve something really big. I wonder if you could solve four times, hmm, what am I gonna use here? Four times, let's do four times 30. Okay, so let's start with two times 30. What's two groups of 30? That makes 60. 
and now we have four groups of 30. So we had two rows, now we have four rows. So we're just doubling the total number of objects. So what's the double of 60? 120. So this strategy can let you or allow you to solve really big problems as well. So I hope this was useful to you and make sure to check back for some more multiplication strategy videos very soon. Thanks a lot, have a good day.